<laughs> I don't know either, Joe. But I want to see more Dorothy. Abby has other kinds of entertainment. Yes, Rick, go ahead. Yeah. I want to see more Dorothy on the ball. She was yeah, adorable. Yeah, thank that you. Was great. Saddle Ranch. Saddle Ranch on Saddle Sunset. Ranch. Thank Saddle you, Ranch Deborah. on Sunset, you can. Hey, guys, we're over Culver City here. And what a great town. A lot of history, movie history in this town. On the corner here of Washington and Hughes, this is that old building that housed the Culver Plaza Theater. Look at that beautiful mural on the side of it. Well, this building is being torn down, but the mural will live on. This mural has been on the side of the building for eight years. It's gonna be moved very carefully, very slowly, starting today in pieces to the West Side Neighborhood School in the Marina area. The mural is 241 feet long, about 35 feet high. It's beautiful here, so residents are quite happy that the mural will not be uh, torn down with the structure. And Speaking of art, Steve, I don't know if you've been up to the Getty or Jill over the last couple of months, but they have a great exhibit up there, Pacific Standard Time, which really focuses yes. Yes, on I've been Southern there. California artists. There. Saw the great calm. I actually saw a Dwayne Valentine speak uh, a couple weeks back uh, about the uh, great calm. It was really good. Great, great uh, show up there. At the hey, Getty. Rick, I want you to welcome Dorothy back to the show. She now, Southern California's first high definition news. Eyewitness News at 6. And also new at 6, Culver City bids farewell to an iconic piece of artwork. Ed Massey's syncopation mural was carefully removed today from the Culver Plaza Theater Complex, which is set to be demolished. Massey created the bright and bold shapes back in 2004 using mops as giant paintbrushes. Stands 35 feet tall, 241 feet long. That mural will now go up at the Del Rey Westside Neighborhood School. Massey says he's pleased with the new home and hopes it will inspire creativity. This is Fox News at 11. An old Culver Plaza Theater complex in Culver City on Washington is being torn down. Neighbors are wondering what's going to happen to this iconic mural. It's on the side of the building. They've grown to love it. No worries. The mural at the corner of Washington Boulevard and Hughes Avenue is being saved. It's going to be torn down and moved to a school. Well, joining us now is the artist who created the mural, Ed Massey. And uh, the nice thing about this is that you can move this mural, but it's, it's the location that's so iconic, right? Well, this, it's really amazing because this is one of the few opportunities that a painting can actually be installed and then removed off, yeah. especially on that scale. It's 7,000 square feet. It's at that corridor, that yeah. Art Deco section of Culver City in Los Angeles. And it's going to be removed. Uh, panel by panel? That's right. It's, uh, it's 11 panels right now. Yeah. I think tomorrow morning they'll be complete. So anyone driving by through Culver City oh. will be the last time to see it. But the beautiful thing about this particular project is that West Side Neighborhood School, which is a local school in Los Angeles. They'll get it? They're going to get the entire awesome. painting. And then it'll beautify their campus and uh, an opportunity for the kids to see it uh, daily. Well, we're looking at the model here. What, what was different about this project? We'll look at some of your other projects in a bit, but how, how hard was that to do? Well, the beautiful thing about this particular project is that we painted it with mops, and I included, oh. I included students from a high school um, at, uh, at a local school in central Los Angeles who helped work on a Kids in an Inclusion program. So they came in their wheelchairs, we visited with them about two to three times a week, and we painted these huge breaststrokes on the ground and then had it actually installed. How did this all start for you? Where, where did you come up with this idea? Well, my background Background's in public projects, sculptor, a sculptor, and painter, mm -hmm. and I've very much like the inclusion of just about anyone who would like to participate. And it's very rare for especially kids to get involved. There's the, the There's mops, the mops, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's very rare to get kids involved in these large, high-profile projects. And I've worked on big-scale projects with my brother Bernie for Portraits of Hope. We have to measure your, uh, yes. mention your brother because yeah, he's such a big part of this. <laughs> and uh, Bernie is a great partner. And we've worked to uh, collaboratively get kids involved all over the country and actually abroad to change and transform things from blimps and airplanes, tugboats, New York City taxi. It's called Portraits of Hope. Portraits of Hope. We're going to look at some of your other projects as we talk about that. You involve kids in hospitals because uh, we've worked together. Sure. And that's so neat that mm -hmm. you do this. Uh, wh what's your goal with that? Well, it gives an opportunity for children to get involved in really the unimaginable, especially the children in isolation. So uh -huh. children in hospital environments Looking to get involved and for them to actually do something that would really be unthinkable otherwise. And we take the outer skin of whatever we're doing mm -hmm. and then apply it to the surface. So the taxis, the blimps, the lifeguard towers. Air 
it all played. puts a smile on your face. I know I, when I watched them put the lifeguard tower stuff up, I was like, in this Santa is the Monica. coolest thing ever. And uh, really, it's, it's, it's the kind of art that does put a smile on your face and brighten your day. Look at that. The tugboat even has it. The tugboat. And we have special <laughs> brushes for the children, for their mouths and their feet, so everyone can be included. The Braille Institute, we have texture paint. It's really all inclusive. Well, you amaze me. Ed Massey, thank you so much for coming in. Thank and hello to me. Brother Bernie, who's such a big part of what you do as well. And we just think it's, it's great the way you're making our city beautiful. Thank you very and actually much. Actually, around the world, we should say. Great to have you here. Mm -hmm. Thank you.